Hello, my name is Manal Bourgnja. So today, I'm going to give a short presentation about security challenges in Vanet Network. I will begin by giving an overview about Vanet Network, information about communication and characteristics. Then I will highlight the security aspect in Vanet by presenting the attacks and also the type of attacker. I will provide some security solution for Vanet Network. Then I will finish by taxonomy of intrusion detection. All smart cities develop their intelligence system and give a list control to the driver and more to the car. That's why they are using a network that allows vehicles to communicate with each other and also with the infrastructure in order to move in a safe way. The question that arises now is what is Vanet? Vanet is a type of manet that aims to let the communication between vehicles, also called NUD and the infrastructure, possible. In order to make the communication possible, the vehicles should have an OBU, onboard unit, which is a GPS tracking device that is equipped in every vehicle to share information. And we have also RSU, roadside unit, it is a computer device which is installed all along the road or in a specific location, such as parking area, for example. It aims to provide a connectivity to the passing vehicles. We can find two types of communication in Vanet, I2V, infrastructure to vehicle, and V2V, vehicle to vehicle communication. Vanet have unique characteristic as compared to Manet, and those characteristics are very critical for security and also for the privacy, namely high mobility. Vehicles are moving in high speed in different directions continuously. Dynamic topology. The topology is not constant and can change rapidly. Frequent disconnection. Due to the two first characteristics, the vehicle often disconnect from the network. Time constraint. The delivery of message is critical because of some messages that should be received at time so they can make the right decision. Unbounded network size. When it can be implemented for a city or even for a country. A, li a limited battery power. When it doesn't suffer from energy or storage problem. The characteristics of when it also are considered as challenges the Vanet network are more sensitive to attack due to its uh, characteristic. This leads me to my next point, classification of attack in Vanet. The attacker, the attack on Vanet can be divided into five categories. Attack on availability. The fact that the network and its resources are available to anyone at any time can lead to a huge security breach like denial of service attack or even jamming attack. Attack on confidentiality. Confidentiality is very important for communication to be reliable and the absence of this mechanism can lead to security problem, namely a eavesdropping attack or man in the middle attack. Attack on integrity and data trust. The integrity mechanism doesn't allow the exchange of information during the sending and the absence of integrity lead to reply attack and message sampling. Attack on non-repudiation or accountability. The non-repudiation mechanism allows us to verify the sender and the receiver identi identity. And any violation of this mechanism can lead to attack like loss of trustability. Attack on authenticity and identification. The authenticity protects the Vanet network from internal and external attack, and any violation on authenticity can cause attack like cyber attack. Let's look to another aspect of classification, which is the attacker profile. Brian and all classify the attacker to four dimensions: insider versus outsider. The outsider are limited in attack because the node doesn't belong to the network and he can only spy the network to collect data. The attacker can block the network with messages. Insider attacker, we can differentiate between two types, 
The first one are an authenticate member of the network that can communicate with other member. The second one are the industrial insider that can be mechanical unit or element in gathering chain of the car business with ability to improve the framework of the vehicle. Malicious versus rational. Malicious doesn't look for a profit, he only enjoy harming the network unlike the rational who looks for profit and he is more dangerous. Active versus passive. Active can do any type of attack in the network and the passive one only spy the communication and collect data. Local versus extended. Local attack have restricted scope, unlike the extended attack that have the particularity for privacy violation like wormhole attack. I would like now to move to my next point. As I have presented, the Vanet faces several challenges. Various solutions have been implemented to deal with the security issue. I will present some solutions that implemented to deal with the specific attacks. Replay attack. The solution is using a timestamp in order to keep a cache of recently received message. The second solution is to use a sequence member of for each sent message. GPS spoofing. There exist multiple solutions to deal with this problem. We can use the authentication between vehicles and also implementing differential monitoring to identify the abnormal change of position. Cybill attack. To deal with this attack, it is essential to have two important methods. Registration to associate each vehicle with a specific ID. The position verification in which the position of the vehicle is verified simultaneously and, ver and every node represents only one ID. Evis dropping attack. The solution is to use encryption method especially for important data such as positioning data, identification, data that could put the driver's lives in danger. Denial of service or distributed denial of service. To deal with this problem, we can use the digital signature to secure the communication between node malware using a trusted hardware for which it is particularly input impossible to change existing protocol and value, expect by authorized one. Timing attack. The better solution is by using a timestamp mechanism and also encounter the problem of uh, time synchronization between the entity. Bogus information bar telegraph. Hashing and symmetric cryptography are used to deal with this problem. All these uh, security solutions have been implemented after finding the, the attack. It will be more beneficial to detect the security breach before it affects the network, which leads me to the, my next point, taxonomy of intrusion detection. We can divide the intrusion detection into in three types or in three important types. Machine learning detection, a powerful method for making the system learn from previous experience to deal with pro new problems. Behavior detection, based on the behavior of the vehicles, the system can deduce the act to do. And finally, malware detection, that can be divided into two types, signature-based and behavior-based, to protect the hardware of vehicle. Thank you.